evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is Ken. How you doing? Slept in today. Oh yeah. 9 a.m. It was crazy. Couldn't believe I slept in that late. I wanted to sleep in later, but I'm like, gotta get up, buddy. Gotta do some work, get some stuff done. So I got up, had breakfast, and then shot the what's in my camera bag video and I uh, use that as my Friday's vlog well it is now Saturday evening uh, my kids made dinner they made soup and it was very good soup with um, tea biscuits and stuff so filled up on that kind of a hot meal on a hot evening so right now I'm headed to Alcona to meet up with two people who I met through uh, you now who, and I can't remember if it was Stephanie or Josh, who watched my videos before I started doing you now. So they knew of me, or one of them knew of me, got the other one hooked on my videos, my food videos, and then they started watching my vlogs and realized that his grandmother lives in Stroud uh, I guess once he started hearing about <clears throat> where I start, where I lived, his grandmother is from uh, from the area in which I live, er, same area. So, and I think it was I think it was Josh, who uh, actually no, I think it was Stephanie who's what well, we'll we'll figure it out. Anyway, so they're from Cape Breton, and or Cape Breton, Cape Breton, and Nova Scotia, and they when we did our Newfoundland. Adventure last year. Sorry, man. I'm trying to think of where I am at the same time. We uh, stayed in Port Sydney, which is really close to Cape Breton. So I, uh, when I started doing you now, they would come on my you now. When they did you now, I'd go on their you now. So we kind of became friends through the internet. Uh, and so they're in town. They told me a couple months ago that they're going to be in town, and it'd be really great to meet up. So I have some time and uh, just finished up dinner zipping over to Alcona meet up with Stephanie and Josh Stephanie LeBlanc and spicy Josh <laughs> have no idea how all those names came about but uh, and why I decided it I think LeBlanc just makes me want to talk like this F Quebec French accent I guess anyway so let's go over to Alcona you guys can meet Stephanie and Josh and uh, we're gonna have a coffee, a Tim Hortons, hang out for a bit. We originally were gonna go to a bar and do a little bit of a party meetup, and uh, but I think they've used up all their cash, <laughs> so they just said, uh, "Can we just do like a coffee or something?" Because uh, we've we've spent all of our funds, it seems. So we'll get that information as soon as we meet up with them. All right, let's get going to Elkona. And there they are, right there. Spicy Josh, Stephanie LeBlanc, right there. They, they just delivered my Lamborghini. I know, we saw nice. that. Nice. I got. I, I told them to deliver here. Just kidding. I got you double. Oh, double double. <laughs> double. How'd you know? I don't know. Thank you very much. Somebody gave it away. <laughs> so I got here at what time? Seven. 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 And it's quarter to ten. We just been yammering on. Well, I've been yammering. Really, uh, and but we haven't talked a whole lot about Cape Breton. Yeah. So, you guys said the pizza there is the best. Oh, the pizza there is some of the best in Canada for sure. Yeah, best so if you're ever out in Cape Breton, <laughs> give it a try. And what was, you said? How many different privately owned pizza places are there? Oh, oh it's endless. There's there's one in every town, two or three in every town. Yeah. It's yeah. not it's not like here uh, where it's all chains. Like you you got different certain chains. It, there it's it's more independent, so you can do whatever you want. You can have different kinds of combinations. You can you know what I mean? So it's different. And you got one of them to create something for the menu? Yeah. There's because a, of something that was in a big chain? Well, it's like a, it's a bigger privately owned one in a town close to us that um, 
prides itself on whatever you want. If we got it, we'll make it. Right. So I had suggested, okay, well, you should make like a jalapeno popper pizza because a lot of people like that stuff. So why not? Told them what to put on it, and now it's on their menu. So. That's so cool. Just randomly through Facebook, right? <laughs> you, you told them through Facebook? Yeah. yeah. And then they put it through on the Facebook. menu. And they contacted me back and they're like, yeah, that sounds good. And then the next day, it was a special. So. And it's been on there ever since? Yeah. yeah. They said they sell a lot of it. Actually. And what's the name of that place? Uh, it's called Pizza Zone. Pizza Zone. Yeah, so if zone. you live in Cape Breton and you haven't heard of the pizza, the chances are everybody in Cape Breton has heard of the Pizza Zone. Probably. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty a very popular place. Yeah. But, if, but if you just happen to be driving through, what roads are on? Victoria, Victoria Road, Road and Whitney Pier. Yeah. Victoria Road and Whitney Pier. So, if you've gone there or if you're planning on going there, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. And, what you uh, like. Or what your favorite pizza is in Cape Breton. Mm -hmm. uh, and you also said something about the Cabot Trail. Yeah, if you're ever out in Cape Breton Way, we have the world famous Cabot Trail, and people come from all over the world, not even just Canada. To see it, and it's a hiking beautiful thing. place. Is no, that's... you drive it. Oh, you drive it. Yeah, that it's along the trail. coastline, and it's all like mountainous. There's lots of hiking trails off of it. Yeah, so right. You, you can like easily go spend like a whole weekend. There's campgrounds and everything. Yeah, lots Camp of beaches. Camp for a night. Try all the hiking trails. There's a famous one called the Skyline Trail. Everybody needs to try that, and it takes you up over the top of the mountain. You walk literally on the top of a mountain, and the view is spectacular. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's on the east coast. It is on it's the east coast. But it kind of goes around the island. Oh, yeah. It's a big chunk of the island. It's kind of like it outlines it. It's about a four-hour drive overall That's funny as if I, you don't stop. I, always, I never consider that being an island, but it, there is an island. <laughs> yeah. an, an island part of Nova Scotia. Yeah, yeah right. there's the mainland, as it's called, and then there's a little bridge called the Causeway, and then it's Cape Breton. Yeah. And the whole island is called Cape Breton. Yeah. Okay, see, I just learned that. Cape basically. Breton Island. I just thought Cape Breton was this either an area or a town. But it's whole called island. the whole and island. We have Cape all Breton. little towns within the island. Yeah. Right. And how many towns do you think? Oh, quite a few. Islands. Yeah. yeah. Like you, you it's know. a big island. Like, a like town it's almost can... half of Nova Scotia as it is. Right. It's a large. Yeah, like a, a town can be anywhere from a population of 300 to a population of 20,000. So right. they're all little yeah. different jurisdictions along the way. And and would you say most of the uh, is it all based around fishing? Some of the, some of these towns. A lot of it's brought on lobster fishing. Yeah, our, lobster that's fishing. our yeah. biggest like thing that goes on there. It's lobster fishing. Right. We'll start mid May, and then we'll run for about two months. And then there's like I mean there's a lot of local farming. There's a lot of farming there, kind of yeah. like this area. There's a lot of farming, so pride a lot on that. It's a lot of local produce that you can get there, so it's a very like. <laughs> local kind of thing yeah. yeah so i'm thinking one of the things you guys might be thinking is how we know each other so i believe stephanie started watching me years ago yep. uh, because you worked at tim hortons and because i guess you looked up tim hortons why why people that work at tim hortons look it was up recommended it was recommended yeah. it was recommended by because i guess by I YouTube. Had, yeah, oh, by youtube okay. I, I guess i had looked at something before and then it, it recommended hortons. me to you Ah, see. So then that's Thanks, how I found YouTube. There, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and then you guys met at Tim Hortons. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so that you both worked at Tim Hortons. Yeah, I was working there for about two years, and then he got fired. Yeah. And then when you started dating, and then you told Josh about me. About you. And, and then I showed you start. Who is this guy? And then, and then somewhere along the line, so uh, he eats Tim Hortons on camera. Yeah. yeah. So. And then he eats other things on camera. He eats everything on camera, really. <laughs> And then, uh, if I can remember correctly, when we went to do our Newfoundland trip, yeah, this ha so happened that you guys came here as we left. Yeah. But then somewhere along the line, you realized that a lot of my videos were in this place called Innisville. Yeah. And your family is from Innisville. Yeah, I have yeah. family living in Innisville. So you were you were born in uh, Huntsville. Huntsville, but you lived in North York for a bit. Yep. And then in Mississauga for a bit. And then you moved to. Cape Breton. Breton, and you've been there ever since. Yeah. And then you met years. Stephanie, and then you guys started doing You Now, and then I, uh, I guess because you guys were watching my You Now, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I started making fun of Stephanie's name, Stephanie LeBlanc. Yeah. Because it's French. <laughs> yeah. French. Yeah. And that's, that's why I say it. Uh, cool. And then during one of the live shows, uh, I started watching their live shows on You Now, and uh, I guess during a live show, either I wasn't sure if I watched that one or I've heard about that one where you had to drink some spicy stuff. Yeah. So then I started calling him Spicy Josh. Yeah. Spicy Josh. Somebody had dared him to do a shot of hot sauce and 
it was hilarious. So ever since then, it, the, it, the tag kind of caught on, and then that's yeah. been his name that's since. That's it, Spicy Josh and Stephanie LeBlanc. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was very nice meeting you guys. Nice I'm so glad. You. Very nice meeting you. They just happened to be in town yeah. and let me know that they were hanging out here. So I thought I'd come by and say hi. I'm glad you guys wanted to. And yeah, glad for you guys sure. No, and thank you for taking the time out of your yeah, day to awesome. come down here and sit, have coffee with us for almost three hours. They bought me a double double, so you had to go. And, and I wonder how I we knew. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I'm trying to get the shirt going, the double double shirt. I got the yeah. double double mug yes. going, but I'm gonna get a double double shirt on there as well. For sure. And with the explanation. Two creams, two sugar creams, because people are like, what the hell's a double double? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, it was nice meeting you guys. Yeah, Finally, nice face to face. Yeah. yeah. I know now where they're real. We are totally real. That's very real. They're not just like uh, cartoon cutouts in a no. YouTube no. show. <laughs> just keep an eye out for us on the live shows. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be in the comments. Full All right, story. guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you guys got to meet Stephanie and Josh from Kate Breton. Kate Breton. I was going to Kate Breton. Yeah. Anyway, see ya. Bye. Bye.